And over a month later, I am finally back. So it's actually already future Kyla talking here. So this video didn't really have a proper introduction because my original plan was to film the like, preparations towards the digestive module assessments but also the week beforehand and for that first week I barely filmed anything so I just decided to scrap it all together and yeah I'll just show you guys the preparations towards the digestive module assessments which were the PST and the theory test. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna, future Kyle here is <laughs> probably gonna appear a few more times throughout this video, or at least my voice will, I'm not sure, because uh, I have to now edit it. But um, yeah, that's just a heads up. This video is probably gonna be lots of random pieces being thrown together. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that, but <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoy it. And I'll hand it over to old Kyla, I guess? Stressed Kyla, basically. <laughs> Hey guys, so um, it's a bit later now and I guess we're now kind of entering the more crunch zone of things. Uh, yeah, so I have the PST for Digestive this coming Friday. Uh, right now it's Tuesday. And then the following Wednesday we have our theory test and um, the next week I have like a essay kind of thing due as well. So it's all just like a lot of things that are kind of together. So it's a... Uh, I guess everyone's now just trying to study for it all. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I've actually um, talked about what the PST is, but um, essentially for all our modules, um, all of like the science ones, we have a theory test and a PST. The PST is like the, pra the practical skill test, um, and it's not worth as much as the test, but um, I think it's always first. Everyone, you know, is anxious and... Uh, still kind of wants to do a bit well on it. Um, I guess that's everything right. Um, yeah, so for the PST, usually what happens is there's three parts to it. So um, the first part involves the microanatomy and the um, radiology aspect. So what you end up doing is looking at lots of like histology slides and stuff of the um, tissues and stuff that you're interested in and you have to normally identify cells or like pathology into that. Um, then you also have the radiology part where you look at like x-rays and CTs and have to identify structures and in some cases pathology but because we're still you know quite new to this stuff um, they're normally not that hard on us for it um, and then the last part is the, the actual anatomy aspect and this is the part I guess everyone worries about the most because it's what you do is you end up going into the room that we do our um, dissections and you have to identify lots of structures within the cadavers themselves. Um, and so that's pretty overwhelming, especially because um, I think it's like 20 or 40, I think it's 20 seconds um, per station. And so you just go in a piece of card that tells you to like, what is this blood vessel or identify or what does it innovate? And then you have to up down, wait for the bell to go off and then walk on to the next station. Stress normally describe it as like a, um, a rat race, which is quite funny, and I think it's pretty accurate. There's four t um, times you do it, and you just rotate. I mean, you rotate between each one. So, for example, the first um, PST we did for Musculo, I was in the first group to do it, and the, now we're doing Digestive, which is the second one. So now I'm in a different stream. So now I'm actually in the last stream to do it. Um, I guess it's just because you can only have so many people doing it at once. So um, that's just what they do and they keep it fair with the whole rotating thing. We had our last lectures for digestive um, yesterday and now um, I guess everyone's just kind of studying. So that's what I'm going to try to do and <laughs> I'll try to show you guys. But um, I feel like what I do is quite repetitive but maybe someone finds it interesting. Um, for starters I think I'm just going to write down like on a piece of paper, the tests and all that, and then try to plan out what I want to do up to the PST for now, because I could write out what I want to do all the way to the test, but I feel like it always changes anyway, so yeah, just keep it flexible, right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so I've just written down the things that um, I want to cover for today. Um, but obviously don't know how much I'll get through and it's probably going to change. <laughs> um, I think the main thing I want to really cover, because I think it's my weakest, is the pathology part of things. Yeah, when things go wrong, which I guess is the main thing we should be focusing on. Um, yeah, so just to start that off, I think I want to just go over the basis of like the micro stuff down like the gut tube. So I know which cells are involved, so more just like revision and before I yeah, jump into the pathology because most of it ends up just being like the cells screw up somehow. So I think it's really important to know what cell is involved in it. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do for um, this whole microanatomy review thing is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this table that I made last year for Medsci 142. So that's another paper you do in first year by Med Health Side Auckland. And um, yeah, I just edited a bit to make it a bit more relevant for this year. But the majority of it is actually the same, which uh, is handy. So hopefully I can just, you know, re refresh it in my mind. So what I'm going to do is just take a screenshot of this. Um, and then I'm going to insert it and make it into like flashcards. So I have this add-on on Anki called Image Occlusion Enhanced something. I think most of you have actually heard of it. It's really useful. So if you guys are into Anki, <laughs> I would I would recommend it. Uh, I think especially for like these sort of um, topics where it's a lot of just memorizing and you don't want to make spend too much time making these flashcards. Um, this is a really good way to do so. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna hide basically these are these boxes are what's going to be hot hidden don't mind me waiting for my oh there we go <laughs> you know what happens sometimes um computer struggles anyway i feel like i'm i'm gonna i don't know it's another video i'd like to make is on like kind of studying and stuff but uh <laughs> I don't know when that's actually going to happen. So for now, you can just skip this. <laughs> okay, so now it's um, all blanked out and I'm just going to make it as hide all guess one. <laughs> um, yeah, so that way that means it's then... Um, I guess it's, in, it's what it says, hide all, so that means... Oh, Let's see. Oh yeah. Generates cards of non-overlapping information where all labels are hidden on the front and one revealed on the back. Yeah. <laughs> Basically that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. So 20 cards added and now... Oh, I didn't add a tag to them. Oh well. Um, that's fine. So now if I go into my Anki here, I can click study now and yeah, I can go over them like this. So um, I'm just going to do that now and um, yeah. Hey guys, so uh, I just had the PST for digestion. Um, I don't think it was too bad, uh, <laughs> but I did have that thing where um, when you leave and then you talk to someone and then you realize you've got a question wrong and you're just like, everything's fine I guess, but um, nah, it wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I was in the last stream and so basically how it works is you do the anatomy part last and how it's just like one person at a time at each question or like each station so theoretically whoever's the last person that enters the room is going to be the only one left for the very last question and no one wants to be that person so it's just kind of like you know between stations a lot of like between like the micro anatomy stuff and the anatomy aspect everyone will just like stand up and like kind of boost it towards the front because no one wants to be last um yeah me and my friend were like in the middle so we were okay so we've just been back and chilling for a while now um had lunch and all that, so probably should have <laughs> stopped watching random YouTube videos and um, actually start studying for the module test, which is on Wednesday. I think I'll like I'll do a bit of like the anatomy aspect in micro. It's a bit closer, but I feel like the, the major chunk is actually like the pathology side because there's like quite a few lectures and very like heavy with content. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. So for starters, I think what I'm going to do is go over like, I guess some of the lectures I didn't 
really make flashcards for or um, my notes for them were pretty brief so it's just like the stuff I wrote during the lecture. I don't have many of those left. Um, I think I have like two or three so maybe I'll just try and get one done now and then you know see how it goes from there. I'm going to start off with the one on celiac disease. So this is the one we had um, two different lecturers come in to talk to us about it. So we had the one who does mainly the nutrition side of things and another one who does more the like physiology, pathology side. Uh, we also had um, someone who's actually um, grown up with celiac disease and just like her sharing her perspective and like life living with the disease. So it was actually quite interesting. But because of a lot of the chunk of the lecture was just like kind of an interview, uh, that stuff isn't going to be assessed. So I do think um, this lecture hopefully will be quite a light one to go over. But um, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. <laughs> Okay guys, so I was just about to start studying and um, yeah, you know your course guide has been through a lot when it's <laughs> absolutely wrecked. I feel like this happens to all of my um, my course guides though, because my drink bottle always leaks, so everything just gets, you know, drenched at the bottom um, when it's in my bag, so um, yeah, <laughs> just thought I'd share. Hey guys, it's future Kyla here. Just want to say, if your drink bottle leaks, don't leave it as it is, or else something bad's gonna happen. That's what happened to me. So, uh, I think it was like a week or so later, uh, my drink bottle leaked again in my bag, and this time it leaked into my surface. So then, yeah, the whole screen kind of got ruined, and then I had to go through this whole process to get a new one. So, yeah, that wasn't fun. Hey guys, so um, I just finished the, you know, lecture for celiac disease. Um, yeah, I just made the notes and then made flashcards. Uh, I haven't actually done the flashcards, but I'm just going to do them later. Or like, you know, like, learn them. So I'm going to start um, another lecture. So this one was on abdominal imaging. And I think if you watched the first video and I said like after the first lecture, which was really weird and confusing, this is the same lecturer and... Um, because I didn't actually go to this one, I just watched the recording, so I didn't know who the person was, but when I was listening to it, I was like, oh, this this sounds very familiar in the in a confusing sense. So, um, turns out I was right. Uh, yeah, she like, just jumped straight into it, and um, I don't know, it was interesting, I guess, but um, I don't really know what I should cover in this. Like, she has learning objectives, but I don't think she was really clear on what was going on. Like, her slides just mainly consist of a lot of images of, um, radiological slides and um, she just talked about all of them so I don't know this might be a weird one to go through I mean I've already um, watched the lecture and annotated the stuff um, I did this maybe a few days ago but now I'm just gonna turn them into hopefully understandable notes <laughs> So uh, it's now Monday, so the weekend's over, and um, trying to get through everything, I guess. Uh, everything's taking a lot longer to process. I think I'm getting there, but obviously a bit like, eww, <laughs> for Wednesday. Um, yeah, so right now I'm just sitting in bed. <laughs> like I feel like I'm just trying to mix it up, you know, change my environment, which means changing from my desk to my bed. <laughs> um, it's currently actually the, what's it called, the Queen's week, Queen's birthday weekend, so uh, yeah, we got the Monday off, but that doesn't really change anything for me because it just means I still study. Um, yeah, so I've been trying to go over like the flashcards and stuff, um, and also just going over all the pathology, like that was my main issue, and so I think I get, I'll just show you guys quickly what I've been doing over the weekend. Uh, so yeah, my current plan um, right now is to just go over like the flashcards that I think I talked about earlier that yeah I don't know they're basically like nutrition and childhood I made them a few days ago but 
obviously I haven't actually learned them yet. So I'm just going to go over those. And then hopefully what I plan to do after that is... Yeah, so lectures 27 to... Can you see that? It's not focusing. Anyway, lectures 27 to 29. And so that's on, based off here, diarrhea, <laughs> irritable bowel syndrome, and celiac disease. So those are like the last, last lectures we um, did for digestive. So I, they actually aren't too bad in the sense like I have notes for them and everything, but like I want to make sure I actually understand them. So I will probably go over that. Hopefully it doesn't take as long, but uh, everything seems to be taking longer than expected. So we'll see. So yeah, I have notes that I've made on the computer, but sometimes I feel like writing stuff is easier, or just like, you know, to put it in a different format, because it's not necessarily all linear, and just like flowcharts, I find it a lot easier to do by hand. This is what I've been trying to do, so, uh, <laughs> I don't know if this makes any sense to you guys, but, um, basically, this is like all the pathology of like the gallbladder and they all have the name Collie at the start so they all sound really similar which um, can get quite confusing so actually writing this down and um, having like what increases your risk of it um, I'm finding quite useful. I did this one yesterday, yesterday but I made like a neater version of this today so this is like how everything happens in your stomach and then your intestines like there's a lot of weird stimulate um like things that stimulate each other um so you can see how this is not really a, you couldn't really do this on the computer well you could but you know doing it by hand is <laughs> easier in my opinion and now it's tuesday <laughs> so uh yeah there's just one more day before the test so it's kind of like well, i mean it always has been crunch time but it's like just gotta stay on it I wrote down the stuff that I plan to cover today. It's quite a long list, but I actually, I think I might be able to do it all. We'll see, because a lot of it uh, is just like revision. Um, I mean, all of it's revision, but like, I'm pretty sure I know these topics. So it's just like, just checking through to make sure I haven't missed anything. I do have other things on today that I plan to do, so that will cut some of my time studying, but I mean, it's good to have a break, right? <laughs> have some stress relief as well. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes then. Wednesday. Yay! <laughs> uh, yeah, so the test is at 6 o'clock tonight, so I still have, it's, almost, it's like 9.45 right now, so I still have quite a few hours if I want to get anything done. Usually I don't really get hard out studying on the day because that just stresses me out and I think I need to save some brain energy for the actual test. So uh, I think what I'm going to do is just, I don't actually know, like, Usually by the last day, I'm just doing whatever I feel like I need to focus on at the time. So at the moment in my head, I'm thinking about going through some of the nutrition stuff. And then afterwards, I'd just like to quickly skim over like the anatomy and microanatomy stuff because I did review it for our PST, but over the weekend, I've just neglected it. And I mean, I'm sure it's in here, but, you know, just to... um comfort myself I guess I'll quickly go through those to make sure it's not lost <laughs> Using the nearest fire exit. 
Okay, so uh, it's about, it's 4.30, so it's around an hour and a half until the test. Um, my friend who's also doing the test is coming over now, so I guess, you know, we'll just <laughs> talk over it a bit and we'll just chill out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But I guess the next time I see you guys, hopefully I've done. <laughs> and I've officially finished digestive. Yay! <laughs> Um, I actually came out of the test feeling a lot better um, compared to the muscular one. I think it was like the stuff I studied actually showed up, which <laughs> you know, makes your study feel like it was actually worth it because there was a lot of stuff in muscular I spent quite a lot of time on and just didn't come up, so that was kind of annoying. But yeah, I think it went alright. I mean, there was definitely some stuff I probably screwed up in and there was definitely one like question that I had no idea what it was, <laughs> but it's okay, we've moved on, um, yeah, I've got the one for um, the RISP now, so yay, next module, <laughs> this one's actually a lot thinner, but um, I was flicking through it and a lot of them is because they didn't include their notes in here, that was probably mean they've used their slides a lot or something else, so we'll see, um, it's quite interesting because at the, um, we get like the timetable on the inside page and you can see all the lectures and like the topics and all that. For this one we have quite a lot of lectures, like they do one-off lectures and that's it. Uh, I was just checking, there's a, a day, or there's two days where we have three lectures per day and each of those lectures are done by a different lecturer, which is quite crazy. <laughs> so it probably means it's going to be quite a lot of lecture styles, so that'd be quite interesting I guess. So we actually start tomorrow. <laughs> um, I have an 8 a.m. but I don't know if I'll go to it. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad it's done and I think all that work over the weekend was, was worth it in the end. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to end like this kind of video here. It was probably a lot of me just studying, <laughs> which is honestly kind of like my life, but that's fine. Um, yeah, hopefully it was interesting, but I will guess, guess I'll see you guys in the um, my next video. I plan to do maybe like an information one. Maybe I won't say it because then I might, I might not actually end up doing it, but yeah, be on the lookout for something. <laughs> Alright, see you guys.